Good morning, everyone, and welcome. We are back to our time of uh, contemplation and morning meditation um, after taking a break for the month of August. I hope that you've all had a really amazing and wonderful and fun summer. And I appreciate you uh, bearing with me as I needed to pause a little bit and just uh, take some time to do some of the things I was doing. So, and what I learned is I've missed this and it's as much centering for me as I hope it is for each of you. So I invite you right now to feel your feet on the floor, um, Feel yourself supported by whatever you're sitting in. If you're sitting on the floor, feel yourself supported by the floor and just take a few moments to, uh, to relax. So close and lower your eyes. And let's take three deep breaths together, starting from empty. Breathing in together. Pausing at the top of the breath and then letting it out. And again, breathing in. Pausing at the top of the breath and then letting it out. And pausing at the end of the exhale and then inhaling again. Pausing and exhale. And just allow your breath in this moment to return to its own natural rhythm, whatever that is for you. I invite you as much as you're able to leave whatever has come before in the day, just set it down for this moment. And whatever may become after this moment, that you set that down too not fretting or worrying about the past or the future, but doing your best to be fully present in this moment, allowing any thoughts you may be having to just kind of float through your head as if they're boats on a river or clouds in the sky, not something you're gonna jump on or grab, but just something you're going to notice. And Begin to take an inventory of your body, starting with your toes. Are you feeling any tension? Are you holding any tension? And if you are on your next breath, just send a little love to that area and see what you can do to consciously relax that area. And So start with your toes, move into your feet, your ankles, your calves, your knees, your thighs, and just notice. You're not trying to change anything. You're not trying to fix anything. Um, You're just noticing and when possible, relaxing just ever so slightly. Or for some of us, it's a lot. Notice whether or not as you're moving up, notice your thighs and your hips and your belly. Do you automatically hold your belly in? Or do you allow it to expand out on the in-breath and come in on the exhale? Are you holding tension there? Check your diaphragm. You're holding tension there. And work your way up to your lungs, your fingers, your wrists, your arms, your shoulders, your neck. For me, it always helps to take a few moments to bring my awareness and my attention to my neck and to my shoulders. And sometimes it helps to um, rub that part, like rubbing your neck a little bit, maybe putting your shoulders up to your ears and then rolling your shoulders back. Sometimes just kind of tapping that area, noticing where you're holding the most tension, doing what you can to release it in this moment so you can be even more present. Moving up from your neck, 
Notice your face. Do you automatically hold tension around your eyes and in your cheeks? Or, you know, do you, do you always paste a smile on your face? Do you, are you able to just kind of let your face relax? And as much as you're able, notice your scalp and your head. And just take a few breaths, loving where you're at in this moment as much as you're able. So last Sunday was an instant sermon and David read lots of questions. So we're gonna spend a little bit of time, our, our time together today being in the question and being open to the answer. Although David gave a lot of good answers, there were a lot of really great questions he was unable to get to. And what I know is a lot of those answers are within each one of us, that God speaks to each one of us in different ways and will give us those answers to our questions. So take a moment and go to that place in your mind's eye where you feel completely relaxed and completely safe. And then just notice what's around you. Are you at the ocean? Are you in the woods? Are you in your favorite chair in your house? And notice what's around you, what sights are around you, what sounds, what you might be smelling, whether there's a breeze, whether you feel warm or cold. Whether there's a mist, you know, maybe your place is behind or near a waterfall or by the ocean and on the Oregon coast, it's not unusual to have a mist. So just notice and find a place to just sit comfortably wherever you're at in this wonderful, beautiful environment you've created with your, for yourself. And as you're breathing, imagine your heart opening like a flower. And that is you're breathing God's love, you're breathing out God's love to the world. And you're just breathing in God's love, breathing out God's love, and allowing that flower of your heart to open even more, opening inward, allowing yourself to receive more and more and more of God's love for you. And as you breathe outward, allowing yourself to allow that love to flow out into the world. And bring to mind a faith question that you may have. I know a question many people have and was said, um, that if God has a plan, then why are innocent lives taken? Why is evil allowed to flourish? I like to kind of reword that. Why do, why do bad things happen to good people? Why do we have members of our congregation dealing with illness that they don't know what it is? Or having something you know, that's not fun happened to them or a member of their family? Why do people who've lived a good life, you know, fall into illness? Why did a, a young man at Beaverton High School have to die from cancer at the beginning of the school year? And maybe your question, your faith question is more, What's my purpose? Why am I here? What does God want me to do with my life? I invite you to sit with whatever question is up for you in this moment. 
and it could be something you've been wrestling with for a while or it could be something like you know um could be something that's just now come into your heart in your mind in your head and just be with that, holding that question in your heart. And if it helps, put your hands over your heart as if to hold that question. And as you're breathing, continue to allow yourself to open to God's love for you and that knowing that the answer is there. And being willing to quiet our mind enough to allow God to speak to us in this moment. I encourage you to allow what comes first, even if it sounds like the voice, you know, your, your own voice. God speaks to us in many different ways. And to just allow that to be without immediately dismissing it or judging it or making excuses as our mind so often does. That's a silly reason or that doesn't make sense. Or that my purpose couldn't be that simple. Whatever it is, and, and pay attention to where you've chosen to be today because the answer might come. You know, God might send a, a little bird to tell you. So sit with whatever question. I'm going to give us a, a whole minute to sit in silence with that question. A whole minute can feel like a very long time. So I invite you to continue. If you received an answer to your question, I encourage you when our time is complete to find a journal or find some place where you write down things that are precious and important to you. And if you are still pondering the question and you did not receive an answer, be okay with being in that mystery. Be okay with being in the not knowing. Be okay as much as possible holding that question. The question of why good, why bad things happen to good people, the question of why evil is allowed to flourish has been a question that I have pondered many times and I have brought to God to my altar and and beseeched God over and over again to help me understand. And sometimes the answer is, it's not about me. It's for that person's soul's growth or that person's desire or something that's a mystery way beyond me. And sometimes it's not for me to know, but for me to trust that there is a plan beyond my knowing And that my opportunity is to show up 
show up in love, show up in compassion. Be that shoulder for someone. And regardless of whatever question that you have, may you find a peace in both the knowing and the not knowing. And really fully understanding that even in the not knowing, we are fully and completely supported by God's love. I invite you to start wiggling your fingers or your toes. Bring yourself back to this present moment. Take a big breath in together. Let it out. And welcome. Welcome to the rest of your week, to your day. And may whatever questions unfold, um, may you be able to find your center to discover the answers that are there and to find the peace that's available when maybe there are no answers. Namaste.